good day. Before I show you how to use PTES in Google Sheets, let us have a brief review of what PTES is. A PTES, also known as Students PTES, is a tool for evaluating the means of one or two populations using hypothesis testing. It tells you how significant the differences can be between different groups. It is used to find out whether a process or whether a given treatment actually has any effect on the population of interest or whether or not two populations are different from each other. Now, T-test has three types. If the groups are coming from a single population, such as measuring after and before an experimental treatment, you should use paired T-test. If there is a group being compared against any standard value, such as comparing the acidity of any liquid to a neutral pH of 7, use one sample T-test. If the groups are coming from two different populations, such as people from two separate cities, use two sample t-tests or also known as independent t-tests. I have here a temperature data for 10 different areas in the morning and in the evening. Let us get the average first. Go to insert, function, average, highlight the first set of data, press enter, do the same for the second set of data. If we compare the averages of the two data sets, there is a difference of 1.4. Is it enough to say that the difference is significant? We will now use the t-test for this. For the t-test, go to insert, function, statistical, Click on the t-text. The formula will show you that you need range 1, range 2, tails, and type. If we click the downward arrow, range 1 is the first sample of data. First sample of data. Range 2 is the second sample of data. Tails specifies the number of distribution tails, and type specifies the type of t-text. For range 1, highlight the first set of data, then place a comma. For range 2, highlight the second set of data, then place another comma. Now, what about the tails? The tail refers to the end of the distribution of the test statistic for analysis. As you can see from the figure, a one-tailed test looks for an increase or decrease in the parameter. The critical region has just one part, the blue area. It can be a left-tailed test or a right-tailed test. In a left-tailed test, the critical region is in the extreme left region under the curve. In a right-tailed test, the critical region is in the extreme right region under the curve. This figure shows a left-tailed test. Now, a two-tailed test looks for a change, but be increase or decrease in the parameter. As seen in the figure, the critical region has two parts, these blue areas, which are in the two extreme regions under the curve. In our example one, we just want to see if there's any change at all between the temperature in the morning or evening. Thus, we will use a two-tailed test or number two. For the type, we discussed the different types of t-tests earlier. Our data in example one is an example of a paired t-test. The two sets of data come from the same population. The morning data comes from the same set of places as that of the evening data. The values for types can be 1, 2, or 3. We will choose 1 for paired tests.
From the t-test, we got a value of 0 0.02946. So what is this value? This is the p-value computed from the t-test. P-value or probability value is a number describing how likely it is that your data would have occurred by random chance. In hypothesis testing, a p-value less than 0 0.05 is considered as statistically significant. This means there is only 5% probability that your data occurred by random chance and you have 95% confidence interval. Since the p-value we got from the t-test is 0 0.02946 is less than 0 0.05, we can conclude that the difference between the temperatures during the morning and afternoon is statistically significant. Now let us try example two. We have the heights in centimeters of various boys and girls. Let's try to get the averages. We can see from the averages that there is a 5.5 difference in height between boys and girls. Again, let us determine if this difference is significant enough. For the t-test, let's go again to function, statistical, look for t-test. Highlight the first set of data for range 1, add comma. Highlight for the second set of data for range 2, and add comma. For the tails, we can use two tails because we are interested in the differences from both sides of the distribution. And for the type, since the measured heights are from different individuals, it is not a paired test. The value of types can be 1, 2, or 3. But since this is an unpaired t-test, the choice is just between 2 and 3. For limited data information such as this, it is better to assume that the variances are unequal. Thus, we choose 3. The p-value is 0 0.01180. Same as above, the p-value we obtain is less than 0 0.05. Thus, the difference between the height of boys and girls are significant. I hope you will find the way T-Test is here now. If you have any questions, feel free to write it in the comment sections. Kindly like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you for watching.